welcome back to Bulldog News, and we're back with your favorite anchors here, Soraya. And Jasmine, here's your forecast for the week, so make sure you dress appropriate. It's going to be a little chilly. Yes. You know, get your wear, ear warmers. Mm -hmm, gloves, chapstick, lotion, everything. Make sure you're moisturized. Wear yes. Yours. Bundle up, guys. It's getting cold outside. So there's a lot of events coming up this week, and I'm so excited. Are you excited for the events? Yes, I'm super excited. I want to know what they are, so let's head over to Miguel and Vincent. Let's go. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Vincent. I'm Miguel. And I'm Gabriel. Today, we're going to be talking about important information about this week in counseling ASB. I'm going to start us off at counseling. All AP exam information has been sent out to all AP students. Make sure to get your sign-ups in. We have a very strict deadline, Bulldogs. November 8th at the end of lunch. Bulldogs, AP tests go on sale on October 21st until November 8th. They can be purchased before school and during lunch at the student store. So make sure to buy your AP test. Seniors, college application day is on November 1st. So make sure to apply to some colleges. Now let's head over to ASB News. Here's some ASB News. On the 30th, we're having a band spectacular. On Halloween, we'll be having two events. We'll be having trick or treating for the preschoolers. Also on Halloween day, we're gonna be having a fashion show so come out in your costume and look your best. Holiday donation for groups and clubs on the f November 1st. That's it from us, Bulldogs. Now back to our anchors. Well, that was that for the events. I'm so excited to see all the costumes for the fashion show. Are you dressing up for the fashion show? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Are you gonna be Batman? Yes, I'm gonna be Batman. Okay, okay, I can't wait to see that. Don't one. play. <laughs> but no, um, oh, and seniors. Make sure you put in your application. The deadline is coming to an end, so make sure you're putting it in your application. If you need any help, please email Ms. D-Rod or Ms. Sandoval for more information. Well, guys, the next topic is sports. Do you like sports? Yeah, I like sports. Girl, me too. Me too, okay. me too. Let's head over to Sophia and Navi for some coach interviews. Yes, let's see what All they right, got. Boys, let's go. Hey, Bulldogs, my name is Sophia, and I'm here with... JD. Today, our segment is going to be all about the Oak Hills High School coaches. We hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, so who am I here with? Hey, I'm Sean Sears. I'm Coach Kyle. Campus Chris. What sport do you coach? I coach football. I coach baseball here at Oak Hills High School. I coach boys basketball here at Varsity. Okay, okay. And what inspired you to coach that sport? I think uh, what inspired me was to give back to the community I grew up in. And I love coaching. I love being around um, baseball. And uh, it's just a great opportunity to continue with the sport. Uh, I've been playing football my whole life. And uh, I love giving back to the community, giving back to the kids, uh, watching the kids succeed and just play the sport that I love and, you know, teach them the game that I love. Um, I felt. I wanted to be at a school that had a great foundation, great facility, and we felt that Oak Hills was the best place. Did you always know that you wanted to coach the sport? Or? Oh yeah, uh, after I stopped playing, um, I coached youth for a while, and then I met Coach Metzger and just came here and still doing what I love to do. Well, well I played college basketball uh, mm -hmm. in San Diego, and I really didn't know if I was ever gonna get back into it, but uh, Rob Alexander, who's the head coach here at Oak Hills, found me at a program and said, hey, uh, I know what you're doing around the community, getting kids recruited. Come on over to my school and do it for me full time. Hey, right. that's so cool. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Bulldogs. We hope you enjoyed our segment. Now back to Soraya and Jasmine. Wow, thank you, Sophia and Navi. Those are some interesting coach interviews. I like them a lot. Did you? Yeah, I did. Do you have a favorite coach here? Yeah, do you have a favorite coach? <laughs> yes. All right. Let's say it's on three. One, One two, two, three. three. Coach Lock. Oh. Girl, you <laughs> No, 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 no. That's my favorite coach. That's my favorite coach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next topic is a perfect Halloween night and how to be safe. What's your perfect Halloween night? Hmm. My perfect Halloween night is walking around with my friends, getting, getting a lot of candy. Okay. You need that exercise or what? <laughs> 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 yes, you know I do. You know I do. Um, also, I don't know. Oh, ooh, I was want to go to a, ha a haunted house. So that's just like a perfect Halloween night to me. What's your perfect Halloween night? Oh, to be honest, either like a haunted house or just staying inside with, you know, like a few of my close friends and watching movies. Yep. Well, yeah. let's see what Calista, Rihanna, and Liliana have to say about this perfect Halloween night. Hey, Bulldogs. 
Halloween is just around the corner and it is important that we all stay safe. But of course, we can all still have so much fun. So we'd love to know what our Bulldogs would want their Halloween night to look like. Let's go find out. Hey Bulldogs, I'm here with Lux. Hey Lux, what does your ideal Halloween night look like? Um, hanging out with friends and then going trick or treating and then going home and watching scary movies. That sounds like so much fun. What's yours? Probably the same thing. What do you do to stay safe on Halloween night? Um, I stay with big groups of friends and I never am alone. Don't forget to stream Chromacopia. Hey Bulldogs, I'm here with Ross the Boss. And what does your ideal Halloween night look like? Um, I would just like to get candy, you know, regular. And what do you do to stay safe on Halloween night? Stay safe. Um, I just be safe. Thank you. Remember, Bulldogs, to not forget to be safe if you choose to go out tonight. Remember to stay in groups and be sure to walk in well-lit neighborhoods. Make sure if you choose to hang out, it's with the people you trust the most, as well as checking your candy to ensure it is safe. Safety should always be the priority. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Calista's group. Make sure you guys are safe on Halloween night, please. All right, guys, let's give it up for the wrestling, wrestling team. team. <laughs> All right, guys, so what I'm hearing from Coach Gaska is that they're looking pretty good this year. And I heard some of them went to the CIF last year. That's really good. Um, let's go see what Andrew and Nick have to say about the wrestling team. Let's go. My name's Andrew. And I'm Nick. And today we're going to be interviewing Coach Gaska about the wrestling program. So, Coach, do you think that wrestling has had an impact on their lives? Uh, an impact on their lives? I would say most definitely, depending on how, they're lo how long they are in the program. I said it helps build that discipline, that perseverance, so then they know how to goal set and how to overcome you know, setbacks. I would say that's definitely one of the biggest things, uh, just having that grit, and then also just obviously on the physical aspect of things, it does impact their lives. I know I have a couple students, one that's right now in the fire academy and he's doing good, and he kind of says, oh, I'm doing good and doing well because of wrestling and the things he learned here, so. That's very good. So do you think that wrestling has played a major role overall. Overall, like in their lives? In their lives, yeah. Um, I would just depend, uh, it all depends on how serious they want to take it. So they can learn valuable skills here. Like I said, discipline, commitment, uh, perseverance, um, you know, helps with their work ethic. Uh, so it just depends on what they want. I said, we provide them with the resources, the opportunities to grow as an athlete, but also as an individual. So I kind of, you know, goes outside the classroom or outside the wrestling room into the real world. So I'd say most definitely, yeah. Very, that's very good. Okay, so that's going to be, conclude this interview. And thank you so much, Coach Yeah, Jessica. no problem. No, yeah, thank you. And with that, back to our anchors. Thank you, Andrew and Nick, on the information from the wrestling team. All right, guys, let's head over to Eli and Jordan for some dream costume interviews. What's, What's up, Bulldogs? Bulldogs? My name is Elijah. And my name is Jordan. And today we've been asking a few people some questions. The questions we're going to ask y'all is, what's your favorite Halloween candy and what are you going to be for Halloween? Let's get to it. We back at it again. It's DJ and I'm here with... JoJo. And what will you be wearing for this Halloween? This Halloween? I still haven't decided yet, but I'll probably be uh, Chucky or Michael Myers. Chucky or Michael Myers. Okay. Where are all the parties at? I know you know where the parties is at, man. Uh... Actually, the parties don't even fall on Halloween this year, but they are, uh, there's a few I, I've seen that, that'll be uh, hosted in here. Okay, okay. What's your favorite candy? That's my last question for you. My favorite candy has to be Reese's. Reese's? Okay, brother. <clears throat> my name's DJ, and I'm here with... Jacob. And I want to know what you will be wearing for this Halloween. I'm going to be Spider-Man, but... Um... Miles Morales version, you know? Okay, you're going to be swinging them webs. Swinging them webs. You know? Okay, this Webster, by the way, for me. Girl, it's like swinging that web on the <laughs> What candy? What's your favorite candy? Uh, probably look at a Kit Kat. I ain't going to hold. Okay. Kit Kat. That's top five, for sure. This is my Kit Kat. Oh. What's up? My name's Elijah, and I'm here with... Nick. And today, the question is, what Halloween costume are you wearing? Man, I'm finna be Michael Myers. You are Michael Myers? What you finna be, yeah? You already know, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, but uh, what's your favorite candy? I guess you don't got a candy. Wow, that was some great costume ideas. What costume you wearing for this Halloween? Um, this Halloween, I'm gonna be a cheerleader. What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy is Reese's Pieces. You can't even eat peanut butter. 
Alright guys, don't be like him. Check out Candy, be safe today, and have a good Halloween. Take it back to Soraya and Jasmine. Thanks Jordan and Mila. Now we're moving on to movie reviews with Jonathan and Sebastian. There you go. What's up Bulldogs? I'm Sebastian and I'm here with Jonathan. And today we're going to be talking about two special movies, Insidious and The Conjuring. The Conjuring is a movie which follows a family who, who moved into a farmhouse. It turns out the farmhouse is cursed by a witch who had kind of like her, fa her like family um, in the 1800s. They call in investigators to try and like help remove the spirit from their house. Overall, the movie is a really good movie. I don't want to spoil it too much, but it is a good horror movie to watch during Halloween or basically any time of the year if you want to watch it. But that's all I got to say about it. It's a good like 8.5 out of 10 in my opinion. 8.5? Yeah. Secondary, we're following the movie Insidious. Insidious is, in my opinion, a very good movie. It follows the Lambert family which their son mysteriously falls into a coma, which their father has to go into this different reality to find his son that's been possessed and caged by this demon. And um, they have to go save him and then bring him back to back home. And that's all I'm gonna say, because in my opinion, the movie is really good. So um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Well, Bulldogs, that was it for today's Bulldog News. Make sure you guys always remember. Every day is a great day to be a bulldog.